Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter Zero Gravity Reward, Richard Jefferson. This is the reward for completing all of the daily challenges that we've been doing throughout the season um, to get one new player each day, and this is the final Dark Matter Reward, and he is much better than I expected. This card is looking absolutely incredible on paper. It looks like he is maybe the best small... I'm sorry, bad... Um, the best shooting guard in the game. I can't talk, but I think he might be the best shooting guard in the game. If not the best, the second best. He looks absolutely incredible at the shooting guard position. One of the most complete and overall best cards in my team. Looks like an absolutely incredible option. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Timbo for letting me hop on his account to record this gameplay. Really do appreciate him grinding these challenges out and letting me get on his account to do the gameplay because I have a bunch of challenges I still need to do because I am going to add this Richard Jefferson card to my account and to my team, but I'm definitely behind on the challenges. So I definitely have to catch up on that. I will be streaming later today on my Twitch doing those challenges. Link is in the description. Make sure y'all go drop a follow to the Twitch as well. But I uh, really do appreciate him letting me hop onto the account to do this gameplay without further ado. Let's hop right into it. Let's see what Richard Jefferson is looking like. So RJ is a six foot seven shooting guard option or small forward. I'm going to play him at shooting guard. I think he's going to be better at shooting guard. 99 offense and defense coming with a 97 driving lamp 98 close shot 95 midi 97 three point 98 driving duck 94 ball handle 97 steel and perimeter 94 interior with an 88 block defensive stats are amazing uh, really good rebounder 98 speed and excel 95 speed ball and a 97 lateral quickness so statistically he's absolutely insane hunter driving and flashy dunk tendency also incredible and defensive bets uh defensive tendencies are also 95 across the board and all the key ones low foul tendency looks like a god really in every area 31 hops as well as 48 golds he's got 79 total badges which is literally one off of the maximum total of badges you can have in the game. Uh, Hoff catch and shoot, corner specialist, difficult shots, fearless finisher, acrobat, ankle breaker, dimer, pickpocket, pick dodger, clamps, interceptor, intimidator, posterizer, rebound chaser, pogo stick, post lockdown, tireless, limitless spot up, downhill handles, today's quick first step, space creator, dead eye sniper, stop and pop, unstrippable, ankle braces, limitless takeoff, floor general, fast twitch and menace, as well as gold teardropper, brick wall, uh, drop stepper, hyper drive, lob city, glue hands, rim protector, chase down ours, quick chain, mismatch, uh, blinders, Chef, uh, Slithery Bailout, uh, stop and go to handles, unpluckable green machine, hot zone hunter, bullet passer, slippery off ball, ball stripper, hustler. Only badge he doesn't come with is hook specialist, which is basically a useless badge because I never shoot hook post hooks, but you can add it to him if you want. But overall, he might be the most complete card that's not an invincible card in the game. All right, hopping into freestyle. Let's see how this Richard Jefferson card moves. So the first thing to note, he's got Steve Francis size up, which is a very interesting sig for him to have. It's going to really make his movement very, very different from most of the shooting guards in the game. It's a very fast size up, which is super nice. It also just, it's, it just looks, it's like very, look how glitchy it is. It, it, I mean, you can glitch basically like, I don't know, quick dribble style, Steve Francis size up. It's going to be, he's going to move really good is basically what I'm saying. Uh, let's turn off the meter. We don't want that on, um... Let's turn all this stuff off. Here we go. Um, but yeah, he's he's gonna move great, which is the first really good thing. He's also got this like escape of sorts. Uh, where if you don't hold the turbo, it's like his standing escape, which you can kind of glitch out of as well. Uh, this card is going to be very glitchy. Like I don't want to, that to be taken out of context at all. I mean, he's gonna be he's going to be a very very good ball handler, especially for a shooting guard. One of the best ball handlers in the game. But the way that his size up is, the fact that he also has that glitchy escape that you can burst out of things like that, and also slash the room is going to be an absolute monster. Jump shot. He's got jump shot 49 on very quick as he's tired, so he gets fatigue shooting, but it's a, it's a very, very good jumper, even though I shot two earlies to start with. It's a very smooth jumper. It's easy to grain. It's super fast. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's just a really good jumper. It's not that same catapult jumper that he's had in game for years. It's a much, much better jumper. Very, very, very good jumper. I mean, this card is looking like looking like he's going to be elite. He's got a massive player build. He's tall to shooting guard position. He's got the pro three behind the back. He's got a 360 dunk there. Let's see what his safe dunk is looking like, because that's the only thing I haven't checked out. But uh, SIGs are looking phenomenal. I mean, this card's going to be an absolute beast. That safe dunk, it isn't terrible. It isn't amazing. But, I mean, he, the way he, this card's going to move and everything, I think he's going to be one of, if not the best shooting guards in the game. I mean, his release is really good as well. This card is an absolute beast. That's all I can say. For a free card, I'm, I'm very impressed. I expected that this would not be that good of a card. I was wrong. Richard Jefferson's looking like the best. Let's hop into the game. Let's see what he can do. All right, hop into the game. We win the tip. Let's get the ball into Richard Jefferson's hands immediately. One thing I will say, his SIGs are probably going to take a bit of practice. They they are very good SIGs, but honestly, most cards in the game don't have this, uh, don't have um, 
as like terrible first possession next but they don't have the steve francis size up and that's a which is a size up that i haven't used much in the game so far this year so it's going to take a bit of adjustment just to get used to it but i do think that his sigs are going to be absolutely elite his movement's going to be absolutely elite. i mean the way he moves already is just very very good like he's going to move absolutely incredibly quick stop him for three unable to knock it down that's tough not a great start we've missed two shots but i am loving the way he's moving so far and he, look at him playing a lane on defense as well the cpu rj playing the lane and now he's going to play some d oh my gosh rj yes sir uh, what is going on this game is so glitchy sometimes i don't really even care but we take that steal there i like the defense that he played there uh despite the fact that it didn't turn into a stop or i guess it didn't turn into a bucket on the other end but we get two paint stops in a row and i, I don't know what's going on here like we can't seem to get a board there we go we got the board with Takembe. throw it in yo this is quite the sloppy start to the game bro i don't know wait what is he shooting i'm so confused vince carter with the rebound throw it up to richard jefferson let's get let's get our offense going because what am i watching right now not the best of starts but uh slash in the rim richard jefferson going up strong and throwing it down yes sir we're finally on the board definitely a sloppy start but we will take that dunk from richard jefferson i'm absolutely loving the way this card looks like he moves look at the on ball defense as well almost getting a pluck he is looking like a god on both ends all right, get the ball in my ball handler's hands. Go make a play, Richard Jefferson. I really do think this card is 100% usable. Not even usable, but great as a primary ball handler. I didn't get the quick stop there that I was trying to get, but I still managed to knock down the move in three, and we're up to a five-point lead. He's going to be one of the best ball handlers that you can use in the game, in addition to an elite offense. I mean, an elite um ball handler no an elite slasher an elite defender i can't speak i'm struggling this gameplay i don't know but uh let's get our offense going a little bit uh he's gonna jump for no reason at everything and L richard jefferson's gonna why did that animation happen bro that's kind of annoying um coming off here see if we can get him to jump we're gonna get him to jump drag back burst here i am really struggling offensively because this card is i mean this is just really not a good start to the game but you know what he's still playing fine as we get another board i don't know what my opponent is doing i'll say that but i just am struggling to create the open shots and uh get the get the shots that i should be capable of getting this dude's jumping all over he is not a does not strike me as a very good player but we are struggling a little bit as i mess up another possession oh my gosh this has been one of the sloppiest starts to a gameplay i've ever done and yet i still do really feel like this card is absolutely incredible i'm just not using him well right now i don't know what's going on but uh stopping popping richard jefferson for three he knocks down the white we'll take that i got a green that just hold it down a tiny bit longer it is a very fast release though and we knock down another three so we're getting we're getting into our groove slowly but surely this is just not a good i'm just not playing very well i don't feel like right now my opponent is not good so that is that is nice we'll take that uh he does wind up scoring there but that is okay and we're gonna get the ball right back into richard jefferson's hands gonna go let him make a play Look at the way he moves, bro. Look at Richard Jefferson moving. Yes, sir. Getting an open three. Knocking it down. He's getting closer to takeover. As sloppy as this game has gone, we have 11 points with him, but he also has a couple steals. Like, he is playing very, very well. Uh, good defense. Can we get a board? Richard Jefferson going to get the board himself and push the ball in transition. Run the floor. Size up. Attack the rim. Drag back. Oh, my gosh. He's rattled. Look at that. Yes, sir. Richard Jefferson going to the rim, throwing down a nice safe dunk, and he is up to 13 points. Shooting five of nine from the field as well, which is honestly not not that bad of efficiency considering the shots that i was taking early in this game uh get him the ball again as well one thing i'm noticing him and vince carter look very similar so it's kind of throwing me off a little bit but he gets another wide open look and shoots a full bar i hit the green window there and it didn't green that's tough but uh we will live it is all right good board by josh giddy this dude is chucking shots which i am not going to complain about as he why are we fouling bro i don't know what this dude is doing Good steal by Vince. Yes, sir. Richard Jefferson pushed the floor. Oh, yeah. Burst. Oh, my. Look at his movement. Yes, sir. The way he moves is just... Uh, why are... You know what? We'll take the quit. This was a little bit of a sloppy game, probably completely honest, but we will take it. Richard Jefferson played very, very well, despite the fact that I kind of struggled and just didn't play that great. But uh, this card's amazing. Let's hop back in the main menu and let's review the card. All right. In conclusion, despite the fact that I played pretty sloppily in that game, wasted a lot of possessions and things like that, I do think this Richard Jefferson card is absolutely phenomenal. He scored like 13 points. He's pretty efficient. He's an elite defender. He's got really good size. He's going to be a great rebounder, great interior defender for his size, as well as SIGs are some of the best SIGs in the game for any card with him having a nice escape, having a... Uh, really good size up having a super smooth jumper having really good size and a great player build at the shooting guard position as well this card is absolutely elite will he start on my team i'm not a hundred percent sure because i still have to decide how i'm going to run my lineup because you got guys like ben simmons and mj who still have to play and then he's going to play somewhere as well probably at the shooting guard position i'm trying to decide if i'm going to run him and mj together or if i'm going to run ben and mj together and then run richard jefferson as my primary ball handler off the bench i don't really know but i am strongly considering starting this card in either way 
way, whether I start him or whether he comes off the bench, he will be my primary ball handler, and he is going to play a significant role in my offense, as well as being an elite defensive card as well. So really, really glad that we got an elite dark matter option out of... Uh, these challenges this season and this richard jefferson card is absolutely elite so i uh, really did enjoy getting an opportunity to do gameplay with him as well and i'm looking forward to adding him to my squad so hopefully y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace